Hey what's going on guys, my name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out Vectera, which is a pretty awesome meeting room creator. Now what's so cool about this is that it's so flexible that you have the option for whiteboard, you got video, audio, picture, you got browser simultaneously so you can browse one with the other with the same browser so it helps out to make smooth conversations. Now you can do that smoothly one with the other or you can lock it to also do like a type of presentation where you are the only one who can create whiteboards and video and all that kind of good stuff. Apart from that you have the option to create a booking site so you have like a widget type. Now enough talk this is their main site if you guys want to grab the deal the link is going to be in the description. So let's head on over to the dashboard and I'm going to close this a little bit and open this one. This is the main dashboard for Vectera and one of the first things I recommend that you set up is your profile. That's where you're going to add your logo and information. Next thing that you would set up is scheduling. So here in scheduling you would have the option to add your calendar. I already added my Google Calendar but you have all the popular options. Now if you want to edit how that calendar looks you can create right here. Create a brand new appointment. I already created one but you can create a brand new one. It's name, description, we're just going to say test test for description. Here we're going to say this is your custom link. We're going to use SAS Master 2 and it's going to be online or offline and you can create the duration, buffer, after events. What is buffer? So let's just say you just booked the meeting and obviously if it ends in exactly one minute you're not going to be able to book another one because the last meeting could extend or it could be shorter you know. So the buffer means that if you set it to 15 minutes no one can book in the next minute so it has a buffer. That's pretty awesome. You can select the dates you would be available, your time zone, and all that good stuff. Let's just save this to show you a really quick view of how that looks. Let's copy this booking site right now and show you. Now you have the option to either send them here or you can embed this on your site. So that's pretty awesome. You can have them right, like a more customizable look. So these widgets could be cut, they could be embedded and it could show it really awesome. Now enough talk about that. What's pretty awesome about Bacterra is the meeting rooms. So let's actually start one right now. Let me close this a bit and we're going to divide the screen so I show you what's happening one with the other. And the first thing that you're going to do well is create a brand new meeting room. So in this case I'm going to say SAS Master 3. And you can lock this meeting to be like private so it's, it's by invitation and you can accept them. Or you can leave it open that if they have the link they could just join the meeting. So you have that option. So let's create this. All right, and we have the options right here. Join without the audio or video. In this case, audio plus video. We're going to choose what we're going to select. I'm going to select the camera that I'm not using and the microphone is going to be removed. Let me see how I can remove that. Okay, so no microphone. That way it doesn't interfere one with the other. I'm sorry if there was a little interference. Join the conversation. And now you're going to see the meeting room how it starts. Now how are we going to invite people? Well you can click here and invite. There's this link or invite someone right here. I'm going to copy the link over here on incognito mode so it shows you what it looks like and it's going to ask for my name. In this case I'm just going to say Jorge Dos and I'm going to add that. I'm going to join without video so that we don't interfere with this like thingy. And right off the bat you can see that the person over there can actually view me. Remember, this is, is not in locked mode. Both people can create whiteboards, upload files, share screen, and co-browse. And we're going to test all that right now. So you have all these options right here. You got also, you can change the camera or disable it. Open that. Settings. In settings, you can do print center mode. Remember I told you that you can do like co-meeting or you can have like a private meeting. Like you are the presenter. Well, if I click on this. Boom, check how it just removed over here, it removed the options for, for creating stuff. I'm going to remove it again and it comes back. Everything is like simultaneously and trust me, my internet really sucks and it's pretty good. So we're going to leave the option to let them create. We can do private notes or let them do it. Okay, so let's close that. And what first thing we're going to do is create a whiteboard. So boom, we create a whiteboard and Say you're talking to someone, a team member, someone around the world that's working with you or you want to explain something, you're creating a software, a piece or whatever. And you can say, hey, you know what, dude, I want you to make like a type of house, but it looks more like a tree, something like this. So you're like writing and you're like, boom. So it looks like a tree, but you know what? This is where I want the color. Oh, yeah, yeah, there. 
and the other guy over here is like, oh, you mean this right here? And boom, I can see it over there. Yeah, man, that's what I meant. That's where I want to color it. So you can also do text, and I'm like, yup, that's it. All right, and the other guy can see it over there. Do you see how that simultaneously works? That's pretty awesome. If we want to upload a file, let's just say I'm going to grab this file, and I'm going to go to here, and I'm going to add this handsome looking guy right there. Let's wait for that to load. So it's going to upload it, and it's going to show it over there. For it to load and there it is and we can also draw if it's an image that you uploaded so that's pretty awesome so let's just say yeah this right there i like that color so there boom i told that guy super fast really quick without wasting a lot of time that was easy or we can share a screen which i'm not going to do that because it's really going to mess everything up but you get the point and co-browsing co-browsing is pretty awesome you can select what we're going to co-browse let me open a brand new link right here and I'm gonna open okay no I'm gonna open actually my site sasm.co let's wait for that to load and if you guys want to head on over there I got a whole bunch of deals that you can check out all right so we're gonna co-browse I'm gonna select my SAS master site I'm gonna share it now to actually do this you need to have the plugin the Chrome extension from Vectera super simple nothing fancy just install it nothing cool nothing like biggie all right over here, you can see they can see the browser over there, and we have like a simultaneously co browser. Now, check this out. If I hover over there, I'm not the guy sharing it. I can click on this. I can click on over here. See how it hovers over there? Let's just say I want to check out, let me see, the menu. I clicked on the menu, and we can both see it. So we're simultaneously working on the browser, and we can talk about cool stuff in between. How awesome is that, and how flexible can this be for you imagine doing meetings with this instead of you know the traditional ones that cost a whole bunch for example and you only have available like the site and you can share screen and that's all you can't do more and if we let's just say we're right here you know what and let's go back to this one that i told them i just click on that one or this guy over here hey i want to click on this guy boom on that picture i want to keep editing here right so i'm going to draw whoa and that's pretty awesome straightforward really easy to work one with the other. And that's just one of the benefits that this has. Another cool thing is the recording. Now, everything that we're talking about, we can actually record it. I clicked on recording because I wanna show you that depending on the plan, you have the available space right here. So it's a cloud storage. And it's gonna store everything, the whiteboards, pictures, and the video of the recording. So it's pretty awesome and straightforward to use Vectera. What can this do for your, for your business? Well, first of all, save you time and get things clear so it's not like going back back and forth with an email and you know what that's not what i meant here's the image again and you write on it and then it goes back and it's just back and forth which is a really really time consuming well all right guys this is spectera it's pretty awesome if you guys want to grab the deal the link is going to be in the description my name is george and this is sas master if you guys liked the video and you found it helpful Please like it, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.